This is my first time using the coach's eye. I'm currently working on my front cross mechanics and the timing of my front cross, so I thought it would be a great opportunity to try and use this app and see how it can help us to come better. Over here is my doglet. I put her in a sit stay and I'm getting into position for my front cross. So my ultimate position we'll be walking to is over here. I have my dog currently on my left side of the body, which means my left arm is my inside arm on my dog arm and the purpose of the front cross is to cross in front of the dog hence the name and switch the dog from my left side over to my right side or vice versa so here I am walking into position all right I'm ready and I'm about to give my dog the release cue I have my left arm my inside my dog arm extended I have my feet pointing forward this gives my dog extension jumping cues so she knows that she needs to jump in extension. And I want to call out that once the jump is complete, the goal is to continue to move in this direction. And this will be very important later on. So, so far so good. So we'll switch to slow motion and I'm giving her the release cue. She's starting to take off for the jump. And here's her last stride. Whoops, let's go forward a little bit. There you go. She is slowly taking off. Her front feet are off and she's pushing off with her rear feet. My front cross is super late, I can tell already at this point. I have my old arm, my left arm, still extended. I have my feet pointing in this direction. At this point, I'm probably leading my dog to believe that after the jump, we are turning in this direction, which is not the case since our goal is to go over here. So very late front cross, and I'm not being clear with my cues as to where we're going. So as she goes over the jump, here she is about mid-jump, and I'm finally starting to use my new arm, my right arm, which will now become my dog or my inside arm since I'm switching sides. However, my feet currently are pointing at the dog, so I'm not really giving her any good cues as to where we're going. Since I've switched my arms, she's probably realizing we're going somewhere in this direction, but this leads her to believe, or can lead her to believe, that she needs to be taking the tunnel, which is not the case, and this could potentially create an off course in the trial. Again, we want to go move in this direction. Here she lands, and as she's landing, I finally have my right arm, my new inside arm extended, but again, my feet still have not completed the front cross and are pointing in this direction. Plus what I've noticed is that if you look real close at her feet, she actually looks like she's pushing off her left foot a little bit, which tells me that she was assuming we were going in this direction and she has to make a minor adjustment when she realizes that that's not the case due to my late front cross. And then here we continue. She's taking one full stride, and only after she completes that full stride am I finally really starting to rotate my body and turn in this direction to show her where we will be going after this jump. And I have my inside arm extended to keep her with me, but definitely the rotation happened way too late. So, but she executes it nicely, gets the toy, and is a good dog. Good girl, Lett.